And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Hello, 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 everyone. Is my mic on? Yes, it is. Okay, we are back. Thank you so much for uh, um, bearing with us uh, as we had a, a week, a, a little bit of a week off. Uh, Chris is still on the road for work this week, so you have uh, you have just me doing some solo streams today and tomorrow. And today, I'm very, very excited uh, to say uh, that we are playing Root for the first time on the camp. Um, yeah, and, and again, happy, uh, happy Wednesday afternoon, August 26th, 2020. Thank you for everybody joining us. Uh, hello, Eric uh, and Sean in the chat. Sean, I, um, I'm glad to see you here uh, because, um, yeah, the weather, dude. Uh, was it Hurricane Hurricane Laura, dude? Uh, so I hope that you are batting down the hatches. I hope uh, you guys don't get hit um, down there in, uh, in uh, Houston. And so keep us posted, man. Uh, hope everything's good. Uh, ETG says, been away from the house uh, vacationing. So very nice uh, we are playing root here today uh a game by leader games uh, made digital by direwolf digital um and i'm very very excited to jump into it uh this is a game that uh has a lot of hype behind it and a lot of love um and so uh i think chris and i i think it was pax unplugged i want to say pax unplugged 2018 is where we played this game um, and that was when, um, our good buddy, um, uh, Taylor Shuss, uh, a good, a good designer buddy of ours, um, was basically teaching like six tables how to play at PAX Unplugged, uh, in, in the open play area. And we got to play this game with, uh, with our old, our old Twitch folk, uh, uh, uh our, our Twitch crew over there, um, from, uh, twitch.tv slash board games, those people. Uh, so it was a really, really fun time to play Root. Uh, I only played one faction, and I think we only played, mm, I want to say, two games. It was probably just one really long game, um, but I'm in between one or two games, I think, is the is all the experience with Root I ever had. But like with, with those two games, um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I played the Woodland Alliance when we played. Chris played the Vagabond. Uh, it's probably not very... Uh, I mean, it's pretty on brand for him, I think. Um, he says raccoon stabby stabs. Um, I texted him. I said, hey, I'm going to play Root um, while he was on the road. And uh, and he said, yo, I'm going to come back. I'm going to be raccoon stabby stabs on you. And I was like, okay, okay. Um, but we had a really good time playing it. Um, I remember feeling like really impressed with the game uh, back in 2018 uh, in that first playthrough because of how different all the different characters played. And so if you are not familiar with the Root the Board game or only have maybe a demo play or just one play like I, I have had, um, it's it's so easily to be over um, so easy to be overwhelmed by the game because um, because each character plays differently, right? And each each character has a different win condition. So um, I'm doing a pretty poor job about explaining what this game is for those of you that don't uh, that don't know this game, um, and, and you should because it's been out for a while now. Uh, but basically, what this is is there are four factions in the core game. I think there are a few expansions out now. I know there's a Riverfolk one, and I think there's a, an Underground one as well. Um, but we are sort of competing for the woodland, is what it is. Uh, the the birds, the eerie uh, faction. Um, as you can see, right here, there you go. He's, he's looking right at me, guys. Um, used to rule the forest, uh, and now they've lost power to the cats, the Marquis de Cat. Uh, and then, um, and so, and then the, the, uh, the foxes are the sort of, uh, all the other folk in the, in the, in the woodland that are trying to rise up against the, you know, rise against the power. And the vagabond is like this lone, lone raccoon. Uh, you know, solo, solo warrior, lone wolf kind of, kind of character. Um, and so each character, uh, plays a little bit differently, has a little bit of special rules, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and you just want to try to get victory points. Um, so, uh, Zeshin, <laughs> what up? It says, he's staring at me, Ray. <laughs> and, uh, Sean in chat says, got those rise up. That's right. 
That's right. It's hard for me not to just straight up root for the <laughs> root. Uh, <laughs> it, they're just, it's just coming out, guys. Like all this, all this gold is just coming out of my mouth. Um, yeah, it's hard for me not to root for the the cats because uh, I mean, hello, look, what? No, over here. Um, you guys know me as Mascato, so more cat always, and uh, probably. We'll see uh, Mosley and or Mateo bust in this room at some point during the stream uh, while we're playing. Uh, but what's really, really exciting about um, what's happening right now is there is an early access digital app available um, on Steam right now. And if you want to do exclamation point root app in chat, um, that is the link to Direwolf Digital's page um, where you can also now link to the Steam page. Um, uh, it is $14.99 on Steam right now, uh, early access. So, um, you know, we'll figure out if we see any bugs or anything like that. Um, you know, as is with early access, everybody, it's like when you get in, you know, it's not, it's not like 100% polished, right? It's, 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 it's almost there. Um, but, um, what's really cool is on that page that I just linked in chat, uh, the direwolf, uh, digital.com slash root page. Uh, it says that it's coming uh, soon to iOS and to Switch and to the Google uh, Google Play Store. Um, so we'll be able to play mobile, um, mobily, uh, <laughs> if if you will, uh, which is kind of cool, right? Um, so so the thing that I've had about Root was um, when I played it in 2018, I loved it. I wanted to play more of it, but I knew that the only person that I could really play with was Chris and we live in two different states. So, um, you know, you guys know when we play, when we do the show here, Chris is in Pennsylvania, I'm in Tennessee, um, and we do the show remotely, which was, has been okay for us in, in COVID times, um, you know, doing it, but to play root, uh, we would have to, you know, it, it was a little bit more difficult, uh, to, to do that. <laughs> I mean, we can do it. Yeah. You know, we play Zombicide all the time that way, but, um, with with hidden information and stuff it gets a little bit more difficult right we can play co-op games very very easily um via via the webcam and all that stuff um so all that to be said is is i'm very excited that root is coming to digital because now this gives me an opportunity to actually play the game with more people that want to play this game that aren't in my local area um and even so um you know i'm not playing with people locally now anyway because of covid time so this is a really good time for me is, is what I'm when I'm coming down for to uh, to dive into Root. I'm very, very excited to play this game uh, and check it out. So um, if you were on the fence about, you know, picking up Steam Early Access, you can consider me guinea pig, right? Um, so I haven't done much in the in the app. I haven't, I haven't even played a full game yet. Um, I will show you when we when we jump into the other screen that uh, I did through I did go through the tutorial just to learn how to play. Um, again, I only have one game play or two game plays with this, and that was back in 2018, so fall 20. So it's only been almost two years since I played this game, um, and I I know the high level thing, so I had to run through the tutorial. I'm very very happy that there is a tutorial uh, in this game because um, in the um, in the real game. The tutorial is really this really cool thing that they do where they run each character makes you run through their first turn uh, and it's sort of scripted you have a scripted first turn and then that first turn lets you figure out what the mechanics of your character are um, and it's a really nice way to do it um, and, and of course now that you're in the digital realm it's a different medium you can do it a little bit differently um, and I thought the tutorial was pretty good um, but again um, You'll see me make bad plays because it's crit camp and it's me, right? And so, so there you go. Uh, Zeshin says, uh, "Yes, I vaguely remember playing games with people in the same room. I know it's it's nuts, right?" Um, I just uh, was talking to a uh, a couple local KeyForge people I uh, used to play with. I haven't played, I haven't seen or played games with them since February. It was the last time we got together uh, at our at our FLGS. We were sort of uh, we were reminiscing at the time when we could get together and play games. Um, we were trying to figure out when the last time we saw each other was, but it was February because early, early March, the tornado hit Nashville, uh, destroyed our FLGS. Well, the neighborhood in which our FLGS was, they closed down and a week later we went on shutdown. So, um, it's been a long time 
uh, and I do miss those people, especially because they discovered Root as well, um, <laughs> I think, over over COVID. And so it um, would be amazing to hang out with them because then I would have some, some people to play physical Root with. Um, so uh, let's see. What up, file uh, filth? Oh, filth! I think uh, I adore root. Looking forward uh, for the Switch and or Android release of the digital version. Absolutely, um, dude. I think the uh, the Switch and or iOS is what I'm looking for. I'm a, I, I have. Well, hold on. I'm so sorry. My speaking of Marquis the cat, my cat is down here. My new kitten Mosley. He is 13 weeks old and he is eating my Ethernet cable. I'm sorry, I think I said Mosley, but it's really Mateo. Uh, say hello, everybody, to Mateo. Oh, he really doesn't like it. Hey, 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 relax. Relax, okay? I'm playing a game with cats. I'm playing a game with cats. Okay. All right. That's not going to be the last time that he does that. He will be continually trying to eat my power cord and my Ethernet cable. So, all right. Um... So what other announcements before I want to go through? Um, tomorrow, uh, it was another solo stream with me. I'll be playing Key Forge. Chris is gone for the rest of the week. He's on the road uh, for work. Uh, Monday night, we took a break um, last Monday from our Arkham Horror LCG um, campaign or series. We ended our, our Dream Eaters campaign. Uh, we'll be returning uh, hopefully on Monday with Matt. I just have to double check with Matt again for scheduling. Scheduling is a little crazy. Uh, these days, but I believe we're starting a new campaign. I'll let you guys know on uh, socials what campaign we're doing, what investigators we're using. We'll also post decks on Arkham DB. Um, so those, I think, are all the announcements. We are going to jump into the gameplay screen, and it's going to be black because I want to launch the game with you guys here because it's gorgeous. It. it um, I just want to say the 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 board game itself really enjoy the art work on and I think it's a really beautiful game and the components are really really great um, um, and and so when you go into the digital app again they did a phenomenal job the art looks really great so here we go we're gonna go over here oh no black screens and let us play now uh, like I'm t like okay hold on let's see if let me make sure that it launches before I, I dive into another tangent of things. Um, but again, I want to tell you guys that I didn't really do much in this app. I launched it just to make sure I could uh, get it to air and everything like that. But well, we might have to change some settings. Oh no. <laughs> All right. We're at we're at the uh, the uh, the main menu here, root a game of woodland might and right. Um and you guys can let me know in chat how you feel about the uh, the the music and the uh, sound effects levels. I can always lower those. Um, but I think we're going to just go for it now. Um I didn't play a game with this yet. I haven't done really anything else but the tutorials. So you can see here I did the tutorials. Um, and what's cool is that there's one tutorial per character plus a basic one, right? So, um, you know, you go in order, they're locked, so you have to go, you have to do them in order. Um, but you can always re-click and get back in there and do it again if you need to do it again. So um, they gave us, give you a particular order to do these in. One is learning the basics, which is, you know, stuff that's common to everybody. Uh, and then you, you do the cat, you do the birds, you do the foxes, and you do the raccoon uh, in that order. And I believe that they play in that order. No, they set up in that order, I believe. They set up in that order. And I think um, everybody can 
you choose a starting player and then you just like go clockwise or something like that randomly, whatever. Um, yeah, so this is it. And it looks gorgeous right off the bat. Again, like I'm saying, the, the art is great. The music is really, really great. Um, really kind of gets you in there. And let's see. Um, so we did, we looked at low, right, local play is, you can do passive play, solo play, and challenges. What's challenges? Okay, maybe we'll do this. Um, otherwise, oh, this is just like you setting up a regular game. Cool. Okay. And then, yeah, and then there's online play. Um, so, if you want to play a game with me at some point, my name is Crick Camp Lyle on this. Um, it looks like there's a bunch of people here. A bunch of games. Very, very cool. Browser, active, okay. Oh, active is my active games. Look at this. We have people playing. So, people are excited about this. There are people here uh, that are in early access, so that's cool. You guys can jump in. I am not going to jump in an online game because I'm relearning how to play this game. So, I don't want to. I don't want to be super bad mode and make people angry. So, I think we're just going to do some local play. Um. Do we use, should we just do solo play or should we just do the challenges? Let's see what the challenges are, huh? Or do we do a, do we do a solo play against the AI just to showcase the game? And I guess we'll be the cats because it's sort of just maybe we should should we put it on easy because we're we're uh, yeah random clearing suits. What is that? Oh, I think that's like how the uh, the clearings are. Uh, it's unchecked by default, so we'll keep it unchecked. And the AI closed. Oh, I see. Well, I guess we want one of each, right? I think this is the. I think we should do this. Shall we just jump in? Ooh. I'm actually a little nervous, everybody, because uh, I'm gonna get rocked. Uh, Phil says, I hope they introduce expansion factions later in early access to River Folk are my favorite to play. Um, yeah, dude, I'm, I, I'm excited to, okay, so, so this is like gonna be my, maybe my third game of Root ever in my life, my first game here on the digital app, and if, uh, and if, if these games go like the, my, my demo game that I loved <laughs> two years ago, um, then I'm gonna be excited to continue to play this and play the expansion, so we shall see. I guess we'll just do a four player, three AI, easy. Let's check out how this works. And then maybe, uh, if, you know, we'll check out the challenges. And, and I don't think we're gonna do any online play today, but um, let's just do it. What do, you, what do you guys think, right? So we're gonna play against, uh, play with the cats. They start you off uh, with the tutorial with the cats because they're, they, they're like the most like straight forward mechanics they're more like resource building um, or gathering resources and then building kind of thing choose a clearing for your keep so I have to choose a corner clearing for a keep and then the birds will set up uh, in the opposite corner of the map and um, and look how beautiful this map is everybody you can zoom in and I just love it I think it looks great um, so we have mouse cards in hand, which is we'll have to match the clearing that we're in. So we'll put our thing here, I guess, perhaps. Choose where to build your sawmill. So the sawmill is a building that creates wood. Wood is the resource I use to create more buildings. Um, we want to put the sawmill here. Everyone, everyone in chat already, and I can tell the YouTube comments are gonna be like, why is this guy setting up the way he is? Okay, listen, I don't have experience with this game. I'm just going for it. Choose where to build your workshop. Workshop, I think is the one that lets you craft cards from your hand. Um, so why wouldn't I just put it with my key? Let's put it with my key. Choose to build where your recruiter is. So that is the one that people will come out. My warriors. Uh, ease on the warrior. Cool. All right. So the AI is now going. Um, the birds have this really, really fun thing called uh, decrees um, when they do that. 
and the Woodland Alliance are like trying to spread sympathy and the um, so they can revolt and the Vagabond is just going around doing this thing. Okay, crafting phase. I can craft a bag for one VP uh, if I have a workshop in a mouse territory. Um, and so, sure. Why wouldn't I? Uh, Phil says the music slaps. Actually, the presentation in general is really nice. I agree, I agree. I'm into it. I'm into all of it so far. Um, and it really helps, like having really nice visuals and having a good soundtrack. Um, yeah, it helps you just sort of like get into the game, right? Get into the world. Uh, choose an action. So I can either move warriors, I can build something, and I can recruit. And so everybody, uh, all it's a lot of it's just like bouncing over and, and uh, left clicking. If you were, if you're curious, and if you click on your character here, this is this is what your physical, you know, this is what looks like our your physical game board stuff is and there's a couple tabs up here that give you more information so the more workshops I build the, the, the more VP I get um, the next built workshop will cost this much wood so it cost me one wood to do this one wood to call the sawmill and then it'll cost more wood as, as we go up recruiters give me um, more warriors sawmills give me more wood and workshops let me craft more uh, I've already crafted this bag um, which I can trade to the Vagabond later. I have cards in hand, uh, and I have 14 warriors in reserve. So this is as many people as um, as I can put down. And uh, what up, Vampy says mousing over, yeah. <laughs> and then everybody, um, so these are the phases of turrets, birdsong, daylight, and evening. And so, um, and each, each character has a different sort of, their own set of stuff here. Um, so the bird song um, is is morning, and basically um, it's like my upkeep, right? Uh, I get one wood from each uh, sawmill on my upkeep. Then my daylight, I can take my actions, which is where I'm at right now. So uh, first, I, I craft. Then I can take up through I take up to three actions. They can either be battling somebody from the same space with somebody. Oh, and thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the best camp on Twitch. Um, I can march troops from one clearing to another. I can rec um, I can recruit troops that come out of my recruiter um, buildings or stands. Uh, I could build a new building if I have the wood and I can overwork, which means I can, I believe I means I can discard a card from my hand to make a sawmill produce one more wood. Uh, and at the evening I draw a card up to five. Um, uh, I can all, I mean, my hand size is five. So if I have more than five, I have to discard. Um, I have a keep, which I place in the very beginning of the game. Um, I can only play pieces in the clearing with the keep token. Uh, and then Field Hospital is really cool. When I die in battle, I can discard a card um, uh, with the matching symbol of the clearing that my dudes died in to have them pop up in my Field Hospital, which is back of my keep. So, um, and then uh, I don't really want to go through and, um, all the things that the birds and the vagabonds and the woodland lions go through because I'm going to explain it terribly and I'll get confused. Um, but if we play more games, I'll play as a different character each time so that we can see the different mechanics um, of what everything is. And again, sorry for the bad plays and feel free to shout at me from the chat um, if I should be doing something. So we can mobilize, we can build, and we can whatever. We have one wood. We can build a sawmill, a recruiter, or a workshop. I want to build a sawmill somewhere, which would be really great. Let us bring a sawmill. Should we just do one down there? I think, okay, so we have a sawmill right here, and then that sawmill can reach here and there. What if we put a sawmill here? Look at that, we built a sawmill and we got a VP for it. Uh, we can recruit, we can march, and we can overwork to make another wood. And start a battle defender. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Ambush. Start a battle defender may play to deal two, uh, two immediate hits. So. Travel gear, make a boot, get a VP. I almost want to like overwork one of my sawmills so that I can make a recruiter, but I also want to recruit people. 
Should we go hard on the economy right now? It's overwork. Oh wait, no, I can't overwork. Yeah, I can overwork over here. That's why I made that over there. We're gonna, we're gonna discard that. Overwork, gain a wood over here. Now we have another wood to build something. I think we're gonna build a recruiter. That was my turn because I did my three. The AI is doing stuff. Oh, they're getting. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. The birds are spreading. The vagabond is moving. Oh, and and look at this. He gave me something. As an attacker, uh, as an attacker, may deal an extra hit, but defender scores more. Look at that. And look, our, our relationship. Oh, and he quested. Okay. He wants to be in alliance with me. Oh. Okay. People are getting sympathetic to the cause in our territories. A lot of things are happening, everybody. A lot of things. <laughs> okay I believe we have two wood um, wood on board things are happening uh, I think we need to we are friends with the vagabond right now um, uh, Phil says he also helped him to the bag you crafted earlier is that oh yes he did yes he gave me a okay so he gave me a card for the bag that I crafted. So that I think he can hold more things. I think he can hold like two more things on his bag. All right, what do we wanna do? Uh, no cards to craft, so we have to play. Okay, choose an action. Um, what is this now? Spend a bird card for an additional action. Wow, that's cool. Um, I think we want to recruit. Do we want to start getting rid of these birds, man? I, I kind of want to attack something to show you guys how that works, but then that's kind of a lot of guys to attack. We can recruit, and I can only move like two over. It's not very good. Oh no, but I can ambush him too. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's get crazy. Um, we're going to recruit. Boom. Where I've made recruiters. Uh, I think we're going to move. Where do we want to move? I think we want to move. These guys are sympathetic. But these guys are close to the birds. I think we're going to move these guys. Okay, we're going to move that to there. And then we're going to say that we're moved. We can move any number of troops that you have from one to the other. Oh my gosh, here we go. So now we're at three over here to the four. Oh, I can, I can move more guys. Do I even want to move more guys? That's the question. Hmm. What is the harm of moving this guy in here as well? I think we're gonna attack this guy, but I think we're gonna ambush them too. Oh no, this is defender. Just kidding. If I crafted this, I would not be affected by the ambush cards. It's cool. Okay, I have this. I have this in my back pocket. I also could make this uh, another another uh, action. We're going for it, guys. Four v four. Actually, oh, he has got the rope. Oh, what? He ambushed me. Oh my gosh, he ambushed me, guys. Uh, Phil says the cat's march action lets you move twice, either one group twice or two groups once. Ah, okay. okay yes, 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 yes. Um, 
Discard a card to return two warriors you keep. So, ooh. Bird cards are considered wild. But I could also get two more guys back, which is probably good. Um, Alright, so this is how Field Hospital works. So my dudes came back. They were healed. Um, choose an action. I can't do anything, right? I think I recruited, I moved, I attacked. Uh, not very uh, effectively. So I think we got this. Code Breakers is what we picked up. Once a daylight, you may look another thing. I think that would make sense if uh, I knew what to look for. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, they're flocking. Oh! Look at this. He wants he really wants to be my friend. He's giving he is giving me cards right now, dude. He's also getting a lot of BP. Okay. What am I what am I even trying to do, everybody? Um, I don't want to craft anything. I don't have anything to craft. Uh, I need more workshops. I need workshops in uh, in bunny areas, in mouse areas, to craft some more stuff. I have four wood, so I can do this. Um, so I can craft a thing over here and craft a thing over there. I definitely want another one in a mouse area. So I can do this, that'd be great. Um, is it a build turn for me? I, I, I shouldn't have attacked last turn, I think. I think I should have set up my economy a little bit better. Uh, we are not crafting code breakers. I think we are going to build some stuff, guys. Right? Let's build. Uh, let's build a workshop, shall we? Got two VP for that. Now we can craft a scouting party next turn. I think I want to build another workshop over here as well. In a uh, in a rabbit area. Cost me two wood. That's all the building I can do, right? I would, I would love to do another recruiter, but maybe we'll do a recruit action as my third action just to get more people on the field. I could overwork, you know what, I could overwork a, uh, over here, if I overwork, I could do a, another recruiter, which kind of is good. Let's overwork. Give me that, give me that root tea. Evil Ed, what's up? Uh, in chat says, uh, got just got out of fun meeting. How's the app so far on this? It's pretty smooth. It's awesome. Haven't really hit any bugs. Everything looks good and the music's good. Um, I like the flow of the game so far. I mean, I'm playing, I'm being, I'm playing pretty poorly. I want to say. Okay. Uh, what is happening now? It is not giving me any prompts to do anything. Ah, Zashin says, app is good, but Lyle's tactics, dot, dot, dot. Yes, 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 yes. What happened, everybody? Why is the sun over here? Is he thinking about his turn? He's an AI. I don't even know where he is. Oh, there he is. He's just chilling. Oh, cool. You can just, you can click on these guys. Does anybody know what just happened to me? Why is the game stopped? Am I supposed to do something? Click on any of that. Um, wonder if 
if I can oh, save and exit, perhaps. Let's save and exit. And let's go back. Uh, continue. Look at that, everybody. All right, I got the root T. They're doing their thing. They made sappers. They got some dudes. They're making army. They're moving. They're moving into my territory. They made another roost. Okay. Yeah, I think the uh, the game just sort of paused on his turn. I think these the. Uh, the sun and the moon is showing the different phases that um, they're going through on their turns. Okay, cool. So I think that's what it is. Uh, we are at the crafting phase. Now we have enough, uh, we can do a root tea. Uh, so we can, since we have a workshop in a mouse area, we can uh, get rid of this in a hand and just do that. We can, we can also do this um, so that we are not affected by ambush cards. I think that's worth it. Uh, okay, and now we can move, build, recruit, fight, and overwork. Um, how is our... Ooh, I didn't really realize. You zoom out all the way, and then they just give you the icons. These are the these are the icons that you get um, in the physical board game, I think, the way they look. Uh, and it gives you a nice little overview of what's happening. Oh, look, and this is like what I have crafted that's just like on... Uh, it's like an enchantment. It's like pervasive over there. Okay, so I've got dudes kind of spread out. We got the birds kind of coming in from the southwest. We got these uh, sympathetic people up here in the top uh, top left here, Pacific Northwest. Ta that tactical view when zoomed out is a real nice touch. Yeah, I, I just discovered this and it's amazing. Um, again, it, it's a little overwhelming to me still because I'm, I'm trying to figure out, I mean, I don't even know what the strategy is really here. Um, I'd start a bird song, you and another player draw a card, it's our daylight, you initiate battle. Oh, that's interesting. It's our daylight, you may initiate a battle. I kind of like that. I think I have to do another workshop in a, in a, in a, yeah, I have to put another workshop over here, which cannot hold a workshop. So, what does that mean? I mean, oh, I can put a workshop up here. Um, that's a lot of workshops. That's three wood. I only have four wood. Uh, so I can build like, two sawmills. I can get, oh, I think I need another recruiter. Um, things are going to get pretty hairy pretty quickly. A recruiter there, a recruiter there. I think I might want a recruiter here. I can't do one up there. But I do want a workshop there. I don't want to put a recruiter there. Maybe put a recruiter down here. Maybe I'll put a recruiter over here. Get that card bonus from that one. Uh, yo, what up? Chris is in chat, everybody. He's uh, on the work uh, on the road for uh, for work. He says, looking slick. Excited to dive in to this. Okay, he is the undefeated Root Champion. So in that one game we played in 2018, he did come out on top as the vag Vagabond. Um, <laughs> Vampy says they're called a murder of crows for a reason. That is very true. All right. Um, I think one of our actions is definitely going to recruit because we made a thing. How, what's the next? The next one cost more monies. Too much monies. Um, things are costing money. I almost want another sawmill. And then recruit. Should we do another sawmill? Am I making too much money right now? Should I try to kill things? I'm un. Uh, I am. I think I have to move some guys because this guy is here. He can kill my recruiter. Um, pretty easy. Uh, oh my god, Leader Games Media, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. 
Um, now I'm very embarrassed with my with my bad plays here. Okay, we're gonna select some warriors to move. Why can't I? What is that? Oh, those are wood tokens. Those aren't warriors. He's on the warrior. Um. Okay. I don't want to be defenseless over there. This is all very scary. This is all very scary. I think we want to get this guy. Oh, he can't move over here. No, we don't. Want, we don't want to move that guy. I think we want to start moving those guys at the keep. Let's move this guy over here. Let's start fortifying ourselves. Uh, and then let's recruit. Let's get more people. Uh, at the at the end of the turn, you must discard down to five to your max hand size. Ooh. Why do I have so many? Once in daylight, you may remove one of your warriors to draw a card. That seems pretty good. Initiate battle, root T. Initiate a battle. Okay, I don't need two of these. Actually, I don't want to help anybody. <laughs> yes, cannot wait to play Fort. Sky Jedi is a good, good dude. Oh no. Oh no! Wait, wait, hold on. I can, I can play, I can play a card, right? No. I thought I had an ambush thing. No. I thought I had this. Oh, you may ambush. Uh, at the start of it, I'm gonna play. Okay, it has to be in a mouse clearing, everybody. Oh no, what's he doing? He's walking. That sneaky, sneaky vagabond. Okay. Discard a matching card for your PS. Okay. Um, do I want to get that dude back for one card? Sure. I'm feeling like I'm, I'm very behind here. I can make a root T right now. Why not? Give me that T. Okay, yeah, I need another workshop in a, in a uh, I need a workshop up here if I wanna make these things. Otherwise, why are they in my hand? So let's, oh, can I not make a workshop? I need three wood, I've got four wood. Um, why can I not make a workshop? Why can I not make a workshop? Spend wood to place a building to clear. Oh, you rule. Perhaps I don't rule it over there. Perhaps I need to move it to rule it. So let's, let's, let's move to rule here. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna put like two dudes over there. What? Outrage. Hold on, what is outrage? Let us remember what outrage is. Outrage. When an enemy encounters or destroys sympathy, they must add a card matching the clearing to his word. I did not destroy sympathy, did I? You heard it here uh, in chat, everyone. You heard it here. They're talking with Direwolf about expansions. Winky face. <laughs> All right, I think we own this, right? Now we can. Uh... Oh yeah, we can do we can do a double move here. I think we want to. I don't want to. I want. To, I don't want that place undefended. Over 
thing is rough, man. I think we're gonna move these guys over here. We'll move one of these guys here. Oh, outrage again. Okay, I need to stop doing this. Uh, you encounter it by moving a warrior into a clearing with uh, with sympathy. I thought if I was already in there that I was like okay to be in there still. Why can't I build in here? Like I want to build a workshop in here. Why can't I do that? I have the wood. And I thought I have majority in here. And I thought because if I have majority, or do I have to kill the sympathetic sympathy token? All right, um, we're gonna get angry, bro. Here we go. <laughs> hey, Rickster, what's going on? I'm gonna get ambushed. No, no, they're defenseless. Right? Oh, I feel kind of bad about it. I love these little animation, uh, battle animations, but it makes me feel kind of bad. Okay. What? I can't build in there still? Okay. Not really sure why. I think we want to get rid of the sympathy tokens. I don't know why I'm going so hard on the woodland lines right now. Um, Evil Ed says, yeah, I need to grab this. Guys, I'm very pleased with it so far. Uh, Phil says, hard to tell. Do you rule all the connecting clearings between the wood and the target clearing? You need an unbroken connection of ruled clearings. Oh. I need a... Okay, Filth is telling me something really, really important here. Um, so we have to check that. Unbroken connection of ruled clearings. But that's the one that's like right next to my... Uh... Am I in mouse territory? Please tell me I'm in mouse territory. Can I use my ambush card? Yes! Oh no, but do I want to use it now? So he's only one. No, I'm gonna skip it. And hope for the best! What? Oh, he took it. I died. No! <laughs> uh, Phil says you need to rule. Oh, what happened here? Okay, yeah, the Eerie went to Turmoil. So so their special thing is they have a they have a very specific um decree is what they call it. Um, and they have a very, and they have a, you pick a leader at the beginning when you're the birds. And if you can't, and the decree says that you have to do things in a certain order. Uh, and if you can't um, do one of those things, you go into turmoil, uh, you pick a new leader and stuff like that. It's a very cool mechanic. Um, it was the one I was definitely most overwhelmed by when we played it uh, a couple of years ago. Cause I was like, well, I don't understand what the heck this is. All right, Phil says you need to rule where the wood is, where you want to build, and if there's a line of clearings between them. Ah. I think I knew this, and then I immediately forgot it. Um, oh my gosh. Sympathy is, is going everywhere. What? Who is this? Uh, I can return a dude. Bird song. Do I want to return a dude? Probably. Sure. Okay, so we need to think about. We need to rule. So I have wood here and here, it looks like. I have uh, sawmills here and here. And so why couldn't I build a workshop where I had a sawmill? Because that's where the... You need to rule where the wood is. So I'm ruling where the wood is, right? Because I have, I have more people here. Um, and if 
a line and a line of clearings between them. Is there enough wood? Oh, there needs to be enough wood there. I thought this was collective wood. Oh, because I have the wood here, but I can't, I don't have a, a clear path to go because I lost this, this, uh, I lost this place over here. Okay, that's why. I lost uh, the fox zone over here. But can't the, oh wait, no. Yeah, and I lost that one over there. That's why. So if I reclaim over here, then I will have uh, a place to go. Let us, oh, this is a wild card. Feels weird to throw that away for a, uh, eh, whatever. Thanks, Filth. All right, Crit knows everybody. Uh, crafting phase. Yeah. All right. So let's mobilize, huh? Let's move these guys over here. And then this should now let me craft, right? No, no. I always forget. I can I can move more things. I can move more guys. Uh, I think I want to move these guys. Oh no no. Hold on. Move some of these guys. No. I have to move these guys back. There's a keep here, right? I'm gonna have to throw away my stand and deliver if I go there because of outrage. I gotta think about the outrage, everybody. Um, it's a kind of scary times at Ridgemont High down here. I could retreat these guys. No, that gives them that wall. I can't move this guy? I guess I can't move it if I'm in a place where I don't belong. I'm trying to think about what to do here. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. want to move one guy over here. Okay. Now I can build my workshop. And I don't have cards now to build my workshop. I think what we're going to do is... I think we still want to build it, though. Ooh, if we do another recruiter, we can get a card. And things are getting a little, little hinky. Those aren't the best places for a recruiter. I can do another sawmill. Just to get more wood. No, I don't need more wood. A recruiter up here would be great. But I think let's do let's do the let's do what we wanted to do, right? This was the whole point. Let's put a workshop up there. So that was that was that was the uh, that was the problem. Phil let me figure it out. Uh, I need a path from where I'm building wood to where I uh, where I'm producing wood to where I'm building wood. I'm uh, using the wood to build, so that makes a lot of sense. All right, things are getting crazy on the Western Front. I'm happy that they are fighting amongst themselves. He's losing cards. They're getting lots of roosts. And I'm trying to ignore these days and just getting some VP. The birds are getting a lot of VP from their roosts, though, every turn. Oh, Vagabond, what are you doing up by my keep? 
Okay. People be sympathetic. Oh! I love that little general, little general mouse. Okay. Really? This one dude? <laughs> the dice were not in my favor. What? Oh my gosh. It's like Desperado. What's happening here? This, this little fox. You little butt. <laughs> he does have a pretty big axe, that, that is correct. He's like, he's, he's, he's axing me a question right now. Uh, do I wanna get rid of this uh, to get some dude back? Yeah, sure. Defend my keep against this vagabond. We're friends right now. But I could change. Uh, make a boot for uh, for a buck, uh, and you could have my axe. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Here, boom. We made we made workshops so that we can we can uh, we can do things. Okay, crafting phase is over. Done. Uh, choose an action. What are we doing here? Uh, Stand and deliver by uh, with Edward James Olmos. We can't we can't craft that. Uh, we need another workshop. Where are we on this? Our sawmills and our recruiter game are like real real weak here. My recruiting game's real weak. Um, Vampy says feels like playing Risk and half your uh, huge army stomped by one defender. Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, can we can we just? I want it. I want this area. Let's just take it from them birds, right? Let's move in here, and let's 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 move and let's pillage right now. This might be the worst idea I've ever had. to move. Um, we want to continue to yeah, go over here. Rule that land. Okay. Choose an action. What? Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Oh, I can return three warriors for that? That's pretty darn good. That's worth three. Sky Jedi, what up? Sky Jedi and chat, everybody. Um, what is happening? We are, we are, we are dying is what's happening. Um, I think we want to take care of this guy, that, that Burrow, Burrowheim over there. Oh, whoops, not that. Yeah, we're root, we're having some rootin' tootin' fun over here. This, this boy over here with the ax, okay? This guy, this guy, right here. He is, he is a maniac. <laughs> Spartan Fox, yeah. Oh my gosh. Beware of Gimli the Fox, yes. Axing me lots of questions up there, man. I don't know. It's bad. I don't, you know what? I shouldn't be fighting anybody. I should just be crafting and building my way to glory. I need to stop. I need to stop. Oh gosh, he's, he's questing, he's doing things. The birds have 21 VP. <sighs> yeah. 
<laughs> Evil Ed says, I, I agree with, with my... Yeah, whatever with uh, the plan I've come up with. I am not... I apparently am not good at that. Oh, no. It's him again. No! Oh. He's... He's taking down. He's taking down like 30 of my men. <laughs> Single-handedly! Oh my gosh, there he goes. Another one. It's like one of these foxes is worth 10 cats. Uh, Phil says, I was going to ask, I can't see the bird or Vagabond VP due to the camera window. Uh, how close are they to winning? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, hold on, hold on. We can we can change this. We can change this. That, that was actually a good point. This is the first time we're streaming this game, so there are things that we can do to make our lives better. Um, always let me know, uh, everybody in chat, how you feel about stuff, because we can do this. We can absolutely do this. Uh, filth. How do you feel about that? Uh, so 21 so yeah that's why I was I was sort of freaking out because he's nine away uh, Phil says perfecto great happy happy to help once in daylight you make looking at a place yeah, I don't know I don't think I need this I'm not good enough to know what to do oh I guess I could I could have looked at the birds to see if they have an ambush or something um, I can all right my buildings that's what I need. I need sawmills and recruiters. I can get two VP each off of those. I have a lot of wood to do this. Um, so I think it's just crafting time or uh, building time. I think we're going to build. Uh, let's put a build a sawmill here. No, let's build a recruiter here. Let's build also a sawmill somewhere. This is our bread and butter here. We build buildings, we get VP, right? And then we move guys so that... No, let's recruit guys. Let's get more, let's more guys here. We built a recruiter, so we might as well take the recruit action. Oh! He could not uh, recruit in a oh, in a wild clearing. He just couldn't recruit. So he just lost his turn. But oh, he is 29. I'm gonna lose the easy AI, everybody. It's a real thing. I spent too much time battling, and I should not have. Oh, he gave me an ambush. Cool. Oh my gosh, he gave me a wild ambush. That's great. Oh, because Spartan Fox is going to come after me. I know it. He turned a Fox into a Sentry. Okay, I see. Okay, we... How can we make 8 VP right now? Um, look in the hand. Okay. How can we make VP? We make VP by making things. Um, how much wood do we have? The woodchuck could chuck wood. Okay. We can make... We don't have... We can make one. No, we don't own that. I don't think we can make buildings anywhere because we don't own places. We'd have to mobilize somewhere to build. So that's not the way to make quick a quick buck. Um, these don't make any bucks. How else can we do it besides building? Do we get um? Do we get VP for destroying things? Let's look at 
because I think the birds are just going to win. Move and build. Where can I move and build? So I have things here. I can move down in here. And there'll be four to five. And I can build something. Ugh. Sucks. Move, build, attack. Uh, can you put the uh, Eerie's Decree in turmoil? Or do they get points before that decided? Destroying buildings and I think tokens like Tim Duke, and I'm sure on that last bit. Yeah, I'm not sure about that either. Uh, bag yeah, bagels, oh my god, which I... I, <laughs> I, grew up, I grew up in New York and New Jersey, so bagels, oh my god, yes, I agree. What about the southeast location? Yeah, I'd have to move my guys uh, from this clearing to this clearing to be um, to own that territory, and then I can build there. Sure. Um, okay, so the decree, uh, what they're talking about here is okay. So he can recruit in a wild clearing, then move, and then he doesn't have to do any of these. But he's gonna have to put something there. Let's just turn a card in there. So he just wanted to turn one, so it's really easy for him to do it. These points for each bird card in there. Decree. Oh, that's right. But he can recruit in any location. Um, so any any place in the, his roost, he can do it. And then any he can move it to any location too. So um, I think what I'm going to do is all right. Let's craft this and let's look at the birds' hands and see if they have a, an ambush or anything. I'm just curious. Okay, so they have nothing. They have nothing good. Interesting. Okay. Uh, do I want to craft this? No. You know what? Sure. Okay, end of my crafting phase. I think I am gonna move. Oh, I can't move in there? Oh no. I can't move in there. So I can't even build. So I think what we're gonna do is maybe move these guys into there. Destroy that. Then I can build there, maybe? No, I can't move in there. Where can I move? I can only move there into there. I can move them into there. Okay. Oh, welcome to the best camp on Twitch, uh, Swordfish. The Star Battalion Defender may play. Um, okay. Uh, Felt says that you need to rule either destination or the origin clearing in order to move. I see. That's what it was. I can't move him. Can't move him. But I can move him. Can I move? Them? Yeah, let's move these guys over here. I mean, this is the end of the game. I don't know why I'm wasting my time here. Um, choose an action fight. We just be mad now. Ugh, oh, we didn't even get the roost. I don't think I could have, actually, with the amount of people I had. Discard a card. No. I want to keep my ambush. Um, I can kill a roost again. Ugh. 
Let's see, do I get a VP from... Oh my gosh, really? Okay, no, defenseless, I do get one. Alright, let's see if I get a VP for killing a roost. This was for science. Excellent! Okay, alright. Uh, we can discard a card to get another action. Uh, and let's see if we can build some... Oh, we can't build here. Start a battle. Oh, can I can I fight here? Can I ambush. Pretty sweet. Oh wait, no, that's defender. Only. I always forget. I don't read the I don't read the cards. I don't read the cards. Well, there it is. <laughs> and that's the game. And I'm gonna lose to these birds. Um. They were able to do their decree. They're going to get a bunch of VP from the roosts that they have. They moved over here. They moved over here. Birds, man. There it is. Plus three. Oh, we couldn't kill enough roosts. I mean, Chris in chat says, uh, just, uh, just uploaded, uploaded the wrong Arkham. Yeah, people have been waiting for the last one. You need to you need to upgrade uh, or upload uh, scenario 4B. That's the last of the campaign. Uh, okay, guys, 32, to 23 to 13. Look, oh, look how sad we are. We just we're, we're just dead, and this bird is standing on the stump like caca, caca bees. That's what he said. Okay. Uh, Phil says, good game. I gotta go because phone's about to die. Best of luck and catch the VOD later. Awesome. Thanks so much, Phil. What am I going to do without you now? Uh, you're the one that's giving me all the all the helpful plays. And thank you so much for the follow bagels. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, my God. Here we go. Um, so, do we want to do another solo play and play as the birds this time? Do we want to check out what the challenges are? Oh, this is a normal game against against two AI. I don't think I'm ready for, for normal. I just died playing easy. So we're gonna we're gonna change it. We're gonna be birds this time. Uh, and then we're gonna keep playing this game until we play all the characters, I guess. <laughs> okay, and now you guys will see what this decree thing is about. Um Bambi says maybe try again now that you know the rules better. Um I could. But I kinda wanna play all the different characters to see to see how, how it goes. Um, but this should help me figure out what the cats are doing, right? Sky Jedi says, birds? <laughs> Let's do it. I mean, for, for first for first day of playing this game, I'm, I'm more into, let's just play everything, right? Let's just check everything out. And then we'll go in and make decisions about what we like where we don't okay so builder he's he can move and recruit does not like trade um battles and recruits moves and battles so i don't think i need battle leaders yet right now move and build move and recruit if you move at least one enemy building or token in battle I'm just call it point. move and build move and recruit move and build right in the beginning Right? No? Okay, so I got that and that. Alright, this is this is where this is where super bad plays are gonna happen because Um I think the the bird mechanic is more complicated than the cat mechanic, I believe. I remember when um yeah, back on Pax Unplug when we got taught the game in twenty eighteen. Again, I'm going to say birds is the one I was most overwhelmed by, and I didn't want to play them because I was just confused. I think I had to put something here. Okay. Uh, uh, Ismati Games, what up? Says, question, why do you beta test board games? Answer, to root out the bugs. <laughs> Very nice, sir. Very nice. Um, 
So... Yeah, let's put a, let's put a bake sale somewhere. Right, so I'm over here in uh, Rabbit Land. And I want to be able to... Oh, I can recruit in, in Rabbit Land. How about that? I think that works. Warriors in a match and clearing with a roost. So I have a roost here in Rabbit Land. So I think that means I can recruit there. Um... Uh, Evil Ed says you'll be fine as long as you don't encounter any axe wielding foxes. That's true. Uh, okay. Do I want to put this thing into battle or something? Or no? No, I don't need to put anything in battle right now. No cards of crap. Press continue. Yes. Choose a clearing to recruit warriors. Okay, look at that. I made I made a, an excellent choice. Choose a clearing to march from. Uh, so I can now march my little tail feather somewhere else. Where do I want to march my tail feather? This is a fox location. This is a mouse location. That's a fox location. And I won't be able to battle anything. But let us move three warriors to this fox location. And now I can build in this fox location. I should have built in the, I should have built in the mouse location. That was silly because I have a mouse card account. So what am I gonna build? A roost, right? And I'll build a roost. This is gonna, okay, I can see now. This is gonna start getting difficult because I can't, I won't always be able to build. And when I can't build, that's when I'm gonna go and decline. And then I'm gonna lose two VP because I have two birds in my decree. Okay. So everybody, down here is my, my decree. And I have to do these, I have to be able to do these each turn uh, if I have a card or anything. If it's blank, I get to skip it. So I get to skip battle right now, but each turn I have to do these things. Okay, the Vagabond and the cats have made a friendship. Okay, but he attacked the fox. Okay, that's, I'm okay with that. Attacked amongst yourselves. Okay, all right, recruiters. Look at that. Overworking. These cats don't have collective bargaining. Okay. We must put something up here, is what you're saying to me. Which means I can put, I can make a battle. I can make a battle, I say. Um, I can make a battle in a... Ooh, I can, no, I can put this here and I can recruit in here too. That's actually very important. To be able to recruit in a fox territory. I should have moved more guys. I want to be able to, yeah. Let's recruit there. I don't have to add another card here, but it'd be nice to battle somewhere too. But um, maybe that's it for now. Uh, do I put that there? So I can battle. No, I don't think I'm ready yet. No cards to craft, okay. Uh, yeah, Sky Jedi, they have, a, they have a really good tutorial. It was really nice to run through. That's the only thing I did before I started stream. I ran through um, all five tutorials. Um, so, uh, select a thing to recruit warriors. We're going to recruit one here. Recruit one here as well. Choose a clearing to march from. We are going to march from... Should we infiltrate? No. We'll move from here to 
now start right over here. Let's move four guys there, perhaps. We can build over here. Roost, baby. Sympathy over here. Sympathy for the devil. Vagabond gonna vagabond. I'm really enjoying how smooth everything is in these sort of transitions and I'm watching what the other players are doing. The more I play this game, I'm sure that this is gonna mean something more to me. Um, I'm sort of just letting all of this all of these transitions gloss over me. I'm not paying attention too much about what's happening. I'm sure next level players are just like, oh man, they're just like keeping track of everything. <clears throat> Dude, cats are making bank right now. Alright, what is the state of the world? I have I can recruit here and here. I can't recruit in there. So I can put a mouse in here and recruit there. That's kind of interesting. Um, I can't battle anywhere. I can move and build anywhere I want. Um, I am kind of loath to put uh, a thing in there. Crafting phase. I can craft once in daylight. Uh, may remove one of your warriors to draw a card. That's interesting. Yeah, let's craft that. That's cool. Card draw wins games. House logos. Okay, crafting phase is over. Now we are going to recruit. Recruit. And recruit. Now we can move and we can build somewhere. Um, and we, are, we have a nice little stronghold going, don't we? We can move three warriors from here. Or roosts. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna have to battle soon. I have a feeling I'm gonna go into turmoil at some point. Um, and that's gonna be a minus two for me. Outrage. I'm digging the music, guys. I'm digging the music on this. Uh, that's another thing, everybody. Let me know. Is, is, is has the background music been too uh, too loud for you, or did you or do you guys like it that way? All right, um, let's, okay, let's see the state of things. So we are moving, will we be able to build here? Um, we will be able to build, okay, we're gonna, probably gonna have to move over here and build over here. Otherwise, what are we gonna do? We're gonna be able to go, we're gonna go in, uh, whatchamacallit, decline. That is a mouse territory. I can definitely build in there. Gonna recruit, recruit, recruit. Um, I can recruit in there. So I'll recruit here, here, and here. Um, then we'll move and we'll build. But if we add something to... We can add battling in fox territories. Also, draw a card, right? During daylight. Um, I'm trying to figure out whether I want to add something, where I want to add this to my decree. Okay, let's 
add uh, fighting. No, let's be smart about this. There are two locations that have somebody. They have a location up here. So there's there's plenty of things that I can fight in. Okay. I mean, I could. Oh, I could also put it on the other build things. Uh, that's it. Or move. Uh, Evil Ed says the music is perfect level. Perfect. Perfect. perfect, perfect. Crafting. Um, I can get a boot. Uh, in battle as an attacker, you may deal with the defender scores point. Don't like that. Uh, I can remove. I can remove a warrior to draw a card. Okay, we're gonna. Who I want to recruit there? But I can't do two foxes. You're right. Okay, oversight there. I could have put a fox there and I recruited there. Okay, now I'm gonna move. Um, I can move up here to another fox territory. I can move here to mouse territory, or I can and I can fight here and here in fox territory. I think what we're gonna do is move these guys here. Let's move three. We are going to battle the dude here. Okay, he doesn't have ambush. Feels good. Got rid of that dude. Gonna build here. Five roosts. I'm getting very, very scared about um, turmoil soon. Oh, the revolt destroys the cat. There, gets a keep. Sympathy, officer. Zappas. Vagmon's going over to the keep. And makes a root tea. Make some aid. Okay. They are friendly. They loves each other. Okay, making workshops for the cats. Oh man, they are building. Look at that, 16, man. Okay. Wow, outrage. They are, they are making moves. These cats are making moves now. Okay, now it's scary times, because uh, scary times at Ridgemont High, uh, we can battle here in Fox Territory once, that's okay, we can do that, we can move over there, I think what we want to do is be able to move again, um, and we want to be able to move um, from... If we move from Mouse Territory, how about that? Attack or you not? Ooh, I want to craft that, don't I? Ooh. You know, we can always move from... From there. Okay. Crafting phase. Scouting party is great. Uh, we're going to craft that. We can also draw a card, huh? Uh, get rid of some dudes, draw a card. Minus one, I'll grab that, code breakers, okay. We'll craft a boot. Oh, we can do an attacker, do No. Okay, 
so no more crafting we are going to move oh no we're going to recruit where do we want to recruit one mouse one fox and one rabbit so this is an obvious we recruit there from rabbit and then we have we recruit here and or here i think we're going to recruit here for the fox territory and i think we're going to recruit up there for mouse territory then we're gonna march one from a wild zone one from a rabbit zone rabbit zone is gonna go from here to there I believe let's do that Now we can move from here to here to Fox territory. Okay, and now we can battle in Fox territory, either this guy or that guy. I would rather do it than here. What? All? Wow. Just... Oh no, I can't build. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh wait, was there any place I couldn't... Oh, I couldn't build anywhere. No, I could have moved here. I could have moved here. I could have moved there, I could have battled here. I'm going to turmoil. Darn. Ah! Okay, okay. And here I thought I was being uh, cognizant of it. Okay, so, so now I can put my wilds and move in battle. Put it into battle and recruit. You place two warriors, not one, each time you recruit. Battle and recruit. Battle and recruit. Or move and battle. I think battle and recruit. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. Oh, I have to discard a card. At start of you making me move, that's good. Uh, I, yeah, I was like, I can get rid of one of these, like, trading cards, man. Yeah, this one. Actually, yeah, let's get rid of, uh, ooh, that's my only fox card, though. At start of battle, okay. Do I get rid of this? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that so I can keep the fox card in my hand. Dominance card available. What the? If you have at least 10 points during daylight, you can no longer score VP. You win the game if you roll three mouse clearings at the start of Bird Song. What? Do I have mouse clearings? I have one mouse clearing, I have two mouse clearings. Where's the third mouse clearing? It's over here. I could go for it. Oh no, he he got dominance, didn't he? I thought I saw him get it. Did he grab it? Mouse dominance. Oh! What? Dude. Get out of here. You're done. You have to think of this mouse nominous thing. Oh no. Alright. 
Awesome. Waste your actions, cats. Waste your actions. Okay, hold on a sec. So, you win the game if you rule three mouse clearings at the start of Birdsong. Um, I have one mouse clearing. I have two mouse clearing. There's another one over here. But there's sympathy and a keep over here. So that means I'm going to outrage if I move in there. But I won't be able to build a roost there. So what I'm going to need to do is put a wild in my decree for build. I'll be able to recruit here as a wild. I'll have to put a mouse. I don't want to, have to put a wild. I have to put both my wilds. I have to put a wild in the move and a wild in the build. So I'll be able to come in here. I'll recruit here. <laughs> I'll move in here. I'll battle in here. I'll build in here. Yes. Oh, can I not do that? Oh, I can only move. Hold on. I can only put one bird card at a time. I really need a mouse card. I could do this and hopefully pick up a mouse card. Oh, wait, no, but then I can't build it. That's okay. I don't need to build in there, right? As long as I own it by being there. Crafting phase. Let us get rid of a warrior. Um, draw a card. Armors. In battle, you may discard this to ignore all rows hit. That's pretty good. To grab the, I need to grab the dominance. That's what I wanted to do with my with my card. Oh, bad news. My order of operations is all messed up. Okay, so I'm gonna move. I'm gonna recruit a dude over here, I believe. Thank you. I'm gonna move over here. Let's move like three dudes. Outrage! And then we're gonna fight. Mouse in a sack. Look at that. That's cute. I mean, how do I claim this? How do I get the dominance card up there? How do you how do you pick up the dominance card? Does anybody know how you pick up a dominance card? Chat. Ooh, the recruitment is real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on, baby. Uh, yeah. 
Armorers. Oh my gosh. If you have at least time point and play during daylight, you can no longer score a VP. You win the game if you roll opposite corners. Oh wow, that one that one's tough. Alright. I think we want to be able to battle in multiple places. Um I think that's where our life is. If that's true. I want to be able to battle in the milestone. Or just battle in a in a bird's in. Recruit and that's uh, and let's battle on another one. This is crazy right now what we're doing. Um hmm. Crafting phase. You can get a buck. Nah. Okay, so we can we can recruit in a mouse zone and in a regular zone. So I think we're going to or in any zone. So I believe this is the wild zone we're going to do. And I think this is the... We're going to march our little Tuckus from... from where to where. Let's march from here to here. Just move one down. We get this. You may draw a Domus card from the supply by discarding a card with a matching suit during the day. Oh, I should have done that. I should have gotten. My oh, jeez. Hold on, hold on. We control what here? We control foxes and mice and. We don't we don't control it there. Okay. We're not gonna grab that. We are gonna grab one of these though. Let's do Let's get rid of one of our dudes. Wow, we can claim this. By discarding this? Level three mouse claim. Claim. Claimed. Okay. I no longer get VP. <laughs> this is gonna be a bad move, everybody. You win the game if you rule three mouse clearings at the start of bird song. So now they're all gonna be gunning for me because this is my my stuff here. But um, so is this automatically played? If you have ten points during play during play light, is this is this considered played or do I have to play this now? Oh my god, and we're playing it. Okay. And now we're battling. And we're gonna protect our lands. Again, right? Oh, we can battle again over there. I think we're gonna get wrecked over there. Um,
Outrage. I don't gain that. This is bad news now here. I barely control this thing. Oh god. Will the easy AI let me get away? So, like, when you own territory, I think you, it's just you're just a majority in the clearing. Is that uh? Oh, what is he doing over there? Is he questing? Outrage. It's crafting. A lot of BP. Oh no. The cat. The cat stopped me. They stopped me. And I put myself in a corner now with this dominance. Okay. We need to be able to battle in here. We need to be able to move guys in there. So. And we need to own this one, this one. This one's a little scary here. Um, so we need to move guys from here to here. We need to battle in there. And we need to recruit from here. And we don't have a roost up there. So we will recruit here and here. We'll move. We'll battle. Yeah. Okay. Well, what else do I want to do here? I could recruit there as well. I could move. Well, we could build something. No. I have to put something somewhere, huh? Recruit here, here, and here. Okay. Crafting phase. No, we don't want that. Okay. We are going to recruit here. No worries left in reserve to recruit. Enter. What? Oh no! I wasn't check keeping track of the amount of guys I had. I'm gonna go in turmoil. Oh no! Mistakes were made. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Oh, thanks so much for the follow. You see? Alright, uh, Mr. Owlman is going to be my guy. He's going to be my guy. Mistakes were made, everybody. I should never have went for the dominance. It was, a, it was too risky a play. The cat is going to win. Stuff. He's doing his thing. Everybody loves everybody loves the Vagabond. He's doing his thing. Oh, versus me. Interesting. That tricky little trickster. What? Oh my gosh. 
He's so... He's so strong. Gunning for my mouse territories. Oh my god, so much outrage. What's happening? Okay. I need to be able to recruit um, in a mouse territory to save myself over here. But I also need to recruit from a Fox territory, so I can go over there. We got so many guys over there. Armors, that's pretty good. Sword, okay. I think we're gonna recruit from. going to recruit in two locations, in this mouse location, in this box location. We're going to march from this location to this location with an outrage. Now we can battle once. We are going to battle what? The cats or the alliance? The cats. Oh my god, it is a, it is a battle right now. You know, with that many creatures, it's kind of crazy. It just looks like it looks nuts and you roll like a three. <laughs> Gosh darn it! I could have, I could have won with all of my wrists. I should never have taken the dominance. <laughs> uh. Oh, sympathy, sympathy! Watch out! People be sympathetic to the cause right now. Oh man, he's making moves. Oh, he made sappers too. We are in greedy end times right now. Tussle against the cats. Or was it a tussle against the woodland? Jeez. Outrage. Okay, here we go. This is where the cats do something to me. Uh huh. Recruiting. Uh huh. Recruiting. Moving. Did I win? I won by dominance? Oh my gosh. Easy AI, thank you so much. <laughs> the Eerie wins! The Eerie wins! Yes. Oh, thank you for what everyone for watching my terrible plays. <laughs> Vampy. <laughs> 
I don't know how much I should be celebrating from, from winning against the easy AI, but um, I thought I made some terrible choices there uh, by picking dominance. I also made some terrible turmoil stuff. I gotta tell you, the birds are really, it's really interesting. Um, they're really interesting to play. Um, yeah, I think I think they're I think they're kind of cool. All right, let's close. Uh, 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 uh. You know, actually, this is a little bit. It might be a little bit too much. All right. Shall we Shall we try to play the Woodland Alliance? Okay. How about How about give me one second. I'm gonna take a, a quick bio break, and then I'll come back, and then we'll we'll be playing the the Woodland Alliance, and then depending on how much time we have, we may play the Vagabond too. So, hold on, one second. All right, back everybody. Sorry for that uh, quick little break. We're gonna be jumping in. I think we're gonna be playing again against the Easy AI because that's as I mean that's <laughs> we're not good. We're gonna play with Woods Woodlands Woodland Alliance. Okay, so this is the one faction that I've played a game with in real life with, and I did terribly with them uh, then. That was the game that Chris won as a vagabond. Let's do this. Okay. okay. Everything's getting set up. Roosts are roosting. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. They are doing their decree. What do I do now? Uh, no clearing to revolt in. How do I do a revolt, by the way? Birdsong, first revolt. Spend two supporters matching a sympathetic clearing. Remove all pieces from there. Place that matching base and warriors there equal to the Okay. Gain office. Second, spread sympathy. Pay supporter cost to place sympathy. Gain VP equal to now. Okay. You may take these number of actions. Craft of less train. And then military operations, your actions equal to your officers. Number of officers, okay. So I gotta make keeps officers to be able to do things at night. And supporters. Cards in the hand support. Okay, so I have three supporters. So I can put three sympathy down. Okay. No clean revolt. Just continue. Okay. Uh, enemy spaces with three or more warriors cost you an additional supporter to spread sympathy there. Go to cheap places. Got it. Oh, and I can just start anywhere. Interesting. Okay. Uh, where do I want to start? Birds are over there, the cats are over there. Uh, feels like I want to start maybe in a. Uh, let's put sympathy here. Uh, sympathy here. And. Oh, I can't put one over there. Let's put sympathy. Here. 
I'll just take over the south. Action, I can craft cards in my hand. Craft a card from your hand, the alliance uses sympathy. Okay, so I have a, I have one of each, right? I have a fox, a mouse, and a rabbit, so I can, I can do the tax collector, I guess. I can craft a crossbow, or I can do armors. Um, I'll just add a card from your hand to support her stack. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Spend a card in my hand. Okay, organize. Move, recruit. Okay, so I can't do any of that. Um, I can get a VP here. Mobilize. Okay, let's craft. Or let's just mobilize, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what the what the uh, technique is to playing the Woodland Alliance. We'll see. We're just going to have to discover as we go. The cat and the bird definitely are more straightforward to me feeling um, than the um, than the Woodland Alliance. Okay. Day labor. He is making some quick friends right now. He is given he's given cards left and right to the cats. An early an early cat alliance. Making roosts. Classic bird. My turn. Okay. Um revolt phase. I can spend two supporters. I can spend my two wilds to do revolt. I don't think I want to revolt yet. Uh, that would cost me two. Oh, I like how the cost it just gives you. That's awesome. I can spend sympathy there. Cost me a lot of money, though might be worth it. Let's do it. Spend sympathy there. Hopefully we can get some uh, cards from our, whatchamacallit, uh, like we mad. Mobilize. Add a card. I think we're just going to mobilize. Yeah, we need some cards, huh? Man, I feel like the Woodland Lions is like so slow to start. Am I missing something, everybody? About, about should I not have placed so many sympathy tokens? You know what, maybe I should go in revolt so I can get a base and an officer, and that way I can start recruiting guys. Ismati says Woodland is real slow to start, okay. Oh, did the game just, uh... It always pauses on the Vagabond. All right, hold on. We're going to save and exit. Local play, let's continue. So far, I mean, this, that's the only thing that, um, that's that been happening to me on this uh, solo local plays. Sometimes it gets hung up on the Vagabond's turn at night or during the day. Um, I just have to save and exit, come back in, seems to be fine. But very, very happy with so far with the, with what I'm seeing early access. Okay, he's doing stuff. He's making things. Okay, bird. Bird facts. They are they are moving all 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 over the place. 
What is his decree? He's got a... Uh, the move, the move in the build guy? Yeah, I think so. Okay, um, youth, I can do youth and revolt right now. Um, I can youth and revolt over here. That'd be really interesting. But that's also like a place where you can get attacked. I kind of want your guy to be a little bit more protected. This would be a good spot, I think, to have a keep. But then you can't really get places. So let's let's youth and revolt here. Spend all my supporters. Get a VP and a couple warriors. Um, and now it costs a lot to get places, so... I, oh, I do have an officer now, so now I can do a nighttime action, which is great. No clearing to spread sympathy, press the continue button. Okay, choose an action. Um, I can craft this, or I can mobilize this. Let's mobilize. Uh, what is this one button here? Oh, look at this. I can do things. Move warriors between clearings or recruit warrior. I think we're going to recruit a warrior, dude. All right, now we're now now we're cooking with gas. Classic Sappers play. I thought the Vagabond was a raccoon. Am I wrong? It's more like a beaver. Oh, he is just making friends with everyone, isn't he? Why isn't he making friends with me? Because I want some cards in here. clearing to revolt. No clearing to spread sympathy to because everything costs too much. That sucks. And now we can uh, train an officer so that we can spend a card from a hand matching. So I have to, I have to spend my root T to, to get an extra action. And then put that in. I think we're gonna do that. Let's do that. Let's train an officer and let's mobilize this. Man, it is slow generation, man. Uh, we can move and we can recruit. Um, where do we? Where would we like to go? We can move and fight. We can recruit another dude. I think we're gonna move and fight. I think we're gonna go over here. Yeah, let's move and fight. Move. We're leaving our thing undefended, but that, and that, that kind of scares me a little bit, but, uh... Oh, look at this. Remove a warrior in a clearing to spread sympathy there. So 
So we could have moved. We could have moved over here, and we could have revolted next. Oh no, we can't revolt because we have a thing. But we, if we spread sympathy, we can revolt next turn. I get another keep. That's actually kind of interesting. Dominus card. Uh, two corners and ooh, geez, the mouse and the fox. Okay, okay. Adding stuff, recruiting stuff, moving stuff. And a scuffle. And an ambush. Those dirty, dirty birds. These roosts, man. Slow and steady. So we can do youth and revolt here. Um, is it worth? Yes, absolutely. We need another key. Let's do it. Boom. All right. Uh, sympathy two, no clearing. Okay, we got a cobbler. A start of evening, you may take a move. That's interesting. Uh, we have keeps. Uh, we have sympathy in four places. Uh, one of each. In the five places. One, two, three, four, five. We need two rabbits to do it. Do this. Can you craft your routine for two? I'd rather mobilize them though. So we take over this little revolting area. Uh, we have how many actions that we can do? We can three actions because we have three officers. We can go in here. We can move, move, spread sympathy. Move, move, spread sympathy. Yeah. Or we could recruit, move, make sympathy. No, move, move is better. That way we can leave. Huh, let's see. No, let's. Re oh, we have three in res reserve. Yeah. Woodland doesn't have a whole lot of guys, huh? Really have to like think about this. Okay, we need Okay, we gotta recruit. Woodland Alliance, man. Yeah, it's like feels so sneaky. It's like sneaky, sneaky strats. Oh, no. oh, I 
that took some down. Okay, no, no revolt. Darn. Wait, what happened? What happened to dominance? I got the dominance? Why do I have dominance? Oh, no, no, I got it in here. Got it, got it. Uh, oh, I can revolt over there. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, let's revolt over there. Okay, I have a keep in, in every in every location. Spread sympathy. Spread sympathy over there. It's not bad. Okay. Uh, we can train officer. Don't need to do that. Um, we can mobilize. Attack about you're not affected by ambush cards. That's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna keep that. Do I want to just mobilize this? What's my next move? Where are the mouse territories? There's mouse territory up there. There's mouse territory up there. I guess we'll mobilize. Okay. Choose an action. No, we don't want to do any of those. Nighttime. We can do four actions. We can move. We can recruit. So we're going to a base with three bases. Follow your base. Belong to us. And we have one guy in reserve. So we can recruit one dude. Supply warrior is empty. You can free up by using the organized and sacrifice warrior for sympathy. Got it. I got it. Got it. Can move my guys up there. Sacrifice for sympathy. I right. start a battle. Defender. Okay. Do I want to do that? I have one more action left, which is to what? Get recruit. I'm back on the field. Nice little mouse with the thing. Bye bye. Zero, roll zero. doing some stuff. Moving around. 
around, questing, doing his thing. It's so hard to keep track of what the Vagabond does. It'll be interesting if we get, if we have time to play play him today, but I don't think we will. But I think we will definitely be playing this game again, everybody. At some point. Okay, here we go. People just taking my sympathy, you know? Taking my sympathy. Yeah, of course, dude. Get, get out of here. Grab some of you guys. My one lone spokesman. Yeah, two can. Oof. For sure. Alright, so I just got rocked. I got rock, rock, body, rock to there. Um, uh, Guillotine TE says, uh, man, I'm so happy to see they made uh, Root into the digital game. I love it. Uh, IRL. Like, I only played it once in tw at the end of, like I was saying all stream, um, I played I played this game once at the end of 2018 at PAX Unplugged. Loved it. Uh, never played it again because I never had people to play with, really. Um, and so now I'm really pumped that they made this digital app, and it's beautiful. Um, okay. So there's nothing to revolt in. I can spread sympathy around. I kind of want to retake this over. It's got a recruiter and a sawmill. Uh, let's put, yeah. Let's try to revolt there later. We can, we can put these back in. Ooh, we can craft a little, little something, something. Get three VP, that's pretty good. And it's talking about United, yep. Interesting. Do we want to put both of these in here so we can revolt in here, or do we want to just get the three VP straight up? Well, we can't revolt. We already have a mouse keep. Yeah, we can't revolt in there. Which means, oh no, we can't craft that. Just kidding. Why? Because we don't have sympathy in, well, we only have one rabbit sympathy. Yeah, they took that one. That's why. Darn. Um, okay. Okay, so instead we'll mobilize uh, this and this. Maybe we'll keep this to craft next turn. Assuming we can get that. I mean, I can get that. I can, all I have to do is like move, move a dude over there and um, make him a sympathizer. Let's see that. Uh, choose an action. No. All right, four actions. I think what we're gonna do is move our homeboys over here. Make a sympathy. can't move over here, huh? Why can't we move over there? Move. We couldn't move from there to there? Why couldn't we move from this? We can only move down, huh? We can move there to there. Okay, I see. So let's recruit first, then. We can't. Let's move our dude from here to here. Let's turn them into a thing. Uh, can we now move these from here to here? No. Let's recruit that boy again. We could fight this guy over here. Move 
this guy over here. Just get a him in play. Let's get him in play somewhere. Defenseless. My sympathy. No. It's really coming after me now. Coming after me now. <laughs> Root Pro now. <laughs> no. I did win one game against the easy, uh, easy AI with the birds. These cats are gunning for me now. Cats are gunning for me. Oh, and welcome to Best Camp on Twitch, Guillotine. Appreciate the follow. <laughs> Team Liquid, that's right. <laughs> yeah, watch out. Uh, Chris and I are going to start a Root Esports team. We're going to we're gonna go to Nationals. It's going to be amazing. Gosh darn armor BS. These birds. You know... That last game when I was going against that one like Gimli, uh, Gimli the Fox, amazing axe wielding master. It's like why, why, do, why are my guys not the same? Why are my guys not the same? All right, um, costly, costly, costly uh, for sympathy. Um, where do we want? Where do I want to spread sympathy? I guess we'll spread it here. It'll cost me a mouse and a bird to do it there. Okay. Alright, I don't need any more officers. Let's see. I can craft my investments now, because I have sympathy. In place. Oh, wait, no, I should have put sympathy somewhere else. No, I should have put it up here now. Oh, wait, no, I do. I have sympathy there. I can craft this investments. Uh, I can craft investments. I can craft that. Craft that. I can get three, four, five. I think we're crafting, dude. Uh, online multiplayer is up and running. Uh, I have not done it yet because I'm on bad mode. Um, yeah, we're just, we're going VP. I don't know if we're going to be, be able to beat the, uh, the owl though. What can we do? You're spread so thin. You're spread so thin. As an sergeant defender, okay. I can't craft this thing because I already used my rabbits. Ooh. I guess I'm going to put... Um, I guess we're going to mobilize this. How can we get this guy in decline? Okay. He's going to have to recruit... Okay. If we okay, he's gonna have to build in a fox zone. Build in a fox zone. I think he's gonna go in decline. He won't be able to build in a fox zone, right? Okay. Can I keep the ambush? How can I get three VP right now? 
Sympathy will give me three VP. So if I just turn my dude into Sympathy, I win, I think. And so where where do I need to go? Sympathetic. You can go up there. Can I move somewhere? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's right, DK Mazu. Move and organize, maybe win. That's right. Guys, I'm having a very difficult time against easy AI. Um, I don't even know what normal AI would be. But we got two wins, so what did we learn today? We're not good with the cats. That was also my first game, though, so I, I was just not good at all. We we, we got a win with the, uh, with the birds against easy AI. Now we got to win with the Woodland Lions with, with Easy AI. Vagabond is not the one, um, is the one that we haven't played yet. Um, we won't have time to do that today. Or do we? Hold on. Hold on. Just give me one second. Let me see. I'm going to check my, um, let's see. I think, you know what? I'll just check if I have a. I might like there was a chance that I was gonna have a freelance meeting, but I just want to make sure we are okay. I think, yep. Yeah. You know what? Two thirty. I think we can do it. I think we can squeeze it in. I think we'll. You know what? Today, today is is intro to root day for us here at the camp. So you know what? We might as well play. Let's do it. Let's play the let's play the last person and then we can we can have a good idea about how all of them play. How about that? Easy AI because we suck. That's it. Vagabond. This is this is this is uh this is Chris's dude right here. This is Chris's dude. Stabby stabs. Little raccoon stabby stabs. I mean, even even all of this is satisfying, everybody, on the Jalab. Just watching all the things happen for the setup. <laughs> oh no, each Vagabond character starts with different items and a special ability that can be activated by exhausting a torch. Choose your character for this game. Ranger, my torch repairs three items, then immediately ends daylight. And I get a boot, a torch, a crossbow, and a sword. The thief, take a random card from a player in your clearing. Uh, boot. Okay, this guy's got the teapot instead of the crossbow. And then this tinker. Take a card from the discard pile matching your clearing. Okay. I think we want to do steely steals, right? Oh, gosh. What is this? Um, do we just start in the middle so we know where we're going? Uh, Guillotine says, unfortunately, I gotta go. Vagamon is one of my favorite, is one of my favorite IRLs. I hope you enjoy playing him. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Really, uh, thanks so much for stopping by and watching. All right. Dude, the, this... The speed at which the cats can get up and running is 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 crazy in the beginning. Choose a location to slip to. That's right. At the beginning of my turn, I think I, yeah, I can move somewhere. And I want to move somewhere with, where there's a ruin for me to open. Okay, what does my special torch ability do again? Thing. In the forest during the evening, 
Repair all items. Oh, okay. Your pawn is on a war, cannot be removed from the map. Move, explore, fight, attack, refresh. Uh, the Vagabond refreshes this many items each turn. Refresh five. Each teapot refreshes two additional items. Okay. Um, right. Refresh three items plus two for each teapot. Slipping to the clearing is forced, no cost. Discard. Okay. Okay. Um. Can move, can battle. Can explore. Can aid. Oh yeah, that's right. I can aid. Exhaust to take a card. Got it. Now I want to explore it. and get. And you can have my hammer. What does this do? To craft. Okay. So now I can craft. Um, and how do I know, how do I have the right amount of things to craft? Can I craft? Craft some boots? Back around you and I played my ambush cards, okay. A visit with friends. I'm not sure if I want to craft that right now. So I can move, I can battle, I can aid. So if I move, I can move to another place with a thing. Oh wait, no, I, I, I need the torch to do that. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I shouldn't have done that. Um, and then what are my quests? Oh, required items. This is a teapot, two. Okay. What is it? A torch and a teapot. No, oh, but I already did my thing. Okay, so let's aid you, the cat. Cat, choose an item to exhaust the teapot. No, the sword. I'm not gonna battle anybody right now. Choose an item to take. Awesome. I probably should have looked at what the cat had crafted before I did that. Learning, guys. We're learning. We're learning. Learning the vagabond. going down. Now we know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> and may oh! They made themselves a bag. I might want that bag, right? So we know that they have a bag for us. We may aid them to get a bag. I like that. These cats are doing so much work. Can we slip to Do a little slip knot action? Um, can we aid the supporter? How do we? How do uh, the sympathetic guys? We'll see. Uh, I guess we can aid you. Get a VP if we do that. Okay, we're gonna aid you. I'm not giving you this. I guess I. Oh, I'm in the mouse clearing. We're going to exhaust the sword and we're gonna take the bag. Excellent. 
Now we have more space in our bag. Uh, Vampy, what is on the wheel we spin? <laughs> um, it is, you can get bonus crits, which is our inner, uh, sort of our in-channel currency. Uh, but a lot of it is, is uh, fitness stuff. So my co-host, Chris, will do burpees. Uh, I will do push-ups. Uh, sometimes we eat really crappy bean boozled beans on stream, if you get that. Uh, sometimes Chris tells a really, really bad joke. <laughs> it's just it, it basically terrible things that happen to us. All right. All right, what do we want to do? We can move, we can steal. Can we steal something? Yeah, why not? Let's steal, let's steal, dude. No, we can move, let's move and explore. Let's move here and let's open this chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we get? A boot? Excellent, we can move some more. Uh, what happens at night? We can repair, right? We can also aid somebody here. If you guys, wait, you don't have anything I need. I could just give you the aid to do what? Where's my like little tracker about my aid? Oh, relationships here. Uh, the back one, we aid a player twice and turn to improve relationship and score two points. I got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, where do we want to go? been turmoiled. Three roosts. Alright, they're starting to get going a little bit. Dominance has come into play. Mouse dominance. Successfully revolted in there. He trained up a dude. He trained up two dudes. Man, this is this is an aggressive woodland alliance. But it's also interesting to see is that we should do. Should you be that aggressive? Grabbing actions early at night so you can get the most. I mean that does make sense. Alright, recruiters up here. Workshops over here. And then uh making making people like, do overtime. Over there. All right, we can slip. We can slip slide um, somewhere. You can slip and slide. Take it to the house. Look over here. Uh, let's explore. All right, we got a sword. I think we can do a quest now, right? Exhausting two, two of these. Oh, we have to be with be in a rabbit. Uh, we have to be in a rabbit screen for that. Uh, so let's move down here to rabbit clearing. Quest this. King VP. King VP. Um, we can. How do we craft? We craft by being in the zone. Okay, got it. Okay. Craft. 
craft, and then I think we can go up to Mouse Town. Go to Mouse Town. We can craft, I think. Oh no, no, no. We have to. We have to do that. We have one more move, or we could aid our buddies. Uh, I'd rather aid twice in a row. Um, so I think we're done. Continue evening. Vagabond's a very interesting character. This whole, like, you, you can only do the things that you have in your backpack. Um, that sort of management is, is kind of cool. It's, it's it's a strange yeah the game is kind of is cool because it's like you 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 care and you don't care about what other people are doing right and i'm sure as you get better at playing the game you can keep track of that stuff better um but it's it's a little difficult in the beginning just not just to concentrate wholeheartedly on <laughs> use your whole brain to just Think about what you're doing. Oh my gosh, so many things. Overworked. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're back in the slipstream. Uh, Woodland Alliance has a bag for me now. Um, so I'm going to go over here. Oh, I don't have a... Uh, card to give them though. I don't have a card in a in a rabbit place to give you. Where is a rabbit place you have sympathy? Woodland, you don't have rabbit places with sympathy? Okay. I mean I mean um mouse or fox places. Yeah, you do over there. Okay, so I can I can go over here um, yeah, it's over here. What do I have your fox collect? Um, uh, tax collector. Yeah, I mean, I'm a tax collector, dude. Okay, let us aid my friend, the mouse. I'm going to. What's my quest to say? A sword and a torch. Okay, I'm not gonna do any of those today. Uh huh. Let's take that bag. Thank you, baby. I can aid you again here. It's a two VP one though. How do I get two VP? You know, I'm gonna aid you that way. I'll get two VP for that. Anyway. Let's wait. What are, my, what are my quests? And a mouse, a torch, and a sword in a mouse location. A torch and a thing. No, I'm gonna use the torch. So I'll just do that. Awesome. All right. Uh, we have two moves and explore. Craft. Sold out of bags. Okay. Let's, uh. You guys haven't crafted anything in a while. I'm gonna go over here. I think this is the last of the ruins to explore. Okay. I'm, I'm maxed out on bag space. That's great. I get some coins, man. All right, um, that's sold out. That's useless to me. I can just give that to. I can move somewhere. Move over here and give it to the cat. I guess. Hmm. 
What am I doing? Repair. Craft. Yeah, I think I'm done. some more. Turmoil. Yes, baby. Right. Those boys are getting mobilized, becoming supporters. Wow, lots of cards. Just completely filled up. This Woodland Alliance AI is, is really interesting to watch. It just feels like they're moving a lot faster than I was. Alright. Now time to watch the cats do everything. More sawmills. Overworking. More workshops. All right, we can do. We can get into the slipstream. Uh, what is the plan? We have this. Take a in bird song. Take a random card from another player. That player scores one point. How do I craft with three? How does my crafting work? Try to carve from your hand. All your hammers must match. I need three hammers to do that. It's not three hammers to get. So I can't even do that one. Okay. So let's aid some people. speech. Can you have a rousing speech? Um, let's do it. Give a speech. Awesome. We are going to Oh wait, no, you are, you are the wood lines. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, I need the sword for, uh, for that, my bad. One, two, three, four, five, okay. Uh, and I can't craft, I can move though. I can move a couple, couple places. Hard to know where to move. Just be central. Uh, the four-player may form a coalition with the player with the fewest VP if they win. Uh, 
Uh, when the Vagabond is a clearing of a revolt, they must damage the- What? You, you little something else. Uh, oh, damage, not exhaust. My bad. My bad, my bad. What? Why? You were my friend. Uh. You were my friend. Oh my gosh, what are you doing to me? crossbow what a little butt dude all this goodwill so how do I how do I get into the forest so if I, I can go in the forest and it heals all my things um, but how do I do it Oh, I slip into the forest. Okay. Choose items to refresh. Um, my teapot. So I just slip into the forest? Oh, I see. And I basically take my whole turn just to do just this, right? Yeah. No. Boo. These cats are out of control. We need to stop them. people these these foxes we, we built so much goodwill with them and then it was like nope okay we can we can we alliance with the with the cats ah oh, man is there enough time for this i think they're gonna win there's not enough time to to make an alliance with the cat Uh, I can make an alliance with the cat in a fox territory and then a regular territory.
Thank you for this teapot. Uh, and then we're gonna go... What up, Giant Cat? How's the vagabonding going? Uh, all right. <laughs> I don't think we know how to play the vagabond very well. Um, so how do I know where my relationship is? Like, what's, what's, I think I have to help you like three times. Is that right? My quest in here. Get some cards. <laughs> Root, the scum alliance strikes again. Can we keep aiding you? What happens if we keep aiding you? Marquee is definitely going to take it. I was hoping, like, I think if I could have aligned myself with him, I think I could, like, if he wins, I win, maybe. Is that right? Am I making things up? The cat, the cats went up too, too much uncontested throughout this game. Earlier, the lines kept smacking him. Oh. I wasn't paying attention then. Dominus card. Revolt. I feel like the Woodland Lions are smacking everybody. Oh my gosh, really? What do I want to damage? My crafties. Boot. One boot, one sword. Sure. So much is happening. They're running rampant. They're everywhere. So sneaky. Oh. Okay, here it is, everybody. What? Oh. They took it. They took it. The cat. All right, so we're two and two today. We, we played... We played Easy AI, we played each of the, the, the characters. I mean, I'm going to say that I like the birds and the woodland lions the best, but that's only because I won those games. <laughs> I was really horrible at playing the cats, and I'm also really terrible apparently playing the vagabond. I didn't get into a groove with the vagabond. I feel like I got into grooves with woodland and, and the eerie. Um, 
but um, not to say that I won't play them again. Very, very cool, guys. So this is this is the early access Steam um, Steam app, and um, if you do uh, exclamation point root app in chat, there's the link to Direwolf Digital, um, uh, the the uh, the programmers, uh, developers of this uh, this app in iOS, Android, and and um, Switch, I think, are coming soon. Very, very cool to finally play this game like this way. Um, I've been wanting to play this game a lot in the last couple of years, but didn't buy it because I didn't have anybody to play with it, you know, locally. And now in times of COVID, that's even more so. So um, it's cool to have this game out. It's interesting uh, to play all the different factions. I uh, still have to wrap my head around the Vagabond and the and the cats, what the strat is there. Um, Giant Cat says, I hope they uh, plan on bringing in this, the expansions. Uh, so Leader Games Media was in chat earlier uh, and said that they are in talks with Direwolf about that and did, gave us a winky face emote in chat. So uh, I think you can expect that coming soon. Um, Vampy says, story of my life. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but guys, um, for an early access thing, I mean, the only things that happened to me, and, and, and albeit we didn't play online, Right, um, so that's usually where bugs end up happening. Um, but um, there is a full tutorial here, um, five-step tutorial. One gives you the basics, and then one for each thing. And it gives you the, it really does gives you like the, you know, the foundation to play um, uh, these these factions uh, and understanding the UI. I think the I think it's very pretty. Uh, I think that it's following suit with the board game. That the, the art is very nice. The animations are great. The, uh, yeah, the, uh, who was it in chat earlier that said this, the, the music is slapping? It's great, right? A lot of, a lot of woodland, uh, woodland bangers going on. Um, and then, uh, we played some local play. So we basically just been doing solo play, uh, against AI. Uh, and it looks like you can, you know, do two to four player game, choose the factions. Medium difficulty, hard difficulty, clearing suits, uh, random uh, suits. But there's also these thing called challenges, which I'm interested in probably doing later. Um, I might not do this on stream. Maybe I'll do it off stream. Who knows? But it looks like there's all this different stuff that you can do. So this is just a normal game. You beat a game with a random dominance card. You have to, that's kind of cool. Riverway warfare, uh, warfare. Players may move through rivers. That's interesting. Castle Siege. You can't win unless the Marquis Keep is destroyed. Oh, wow. That's awesome. You have to, I guess you have to play as the birds. Statehood. You start with a base on the map in the corner space with one warrior and one officer. You cannot start revolts. Wow. Okay. Pacifist. You can't initiate um, attacks or strikes. Wow. Medic and Field Hospital, the automatically rescues warriors at no cost. Ambush cards are removed from the deck. This is so interesting. Assembly line. Gain one additional VP whenever you craft a card. Opponents start with 10 and all players need 40 to win. Dominance are removed. Scrappy Fighters. I really enjoy all of these little win-win. You can only win by starting a coalition. That's so interesting. Guys, there's a lot of this too. First player to 40. Dominance removed. Rule reversed. Okay. So if you, if you, I mean, so this is kind of cool just for like solo play, I guess. Just the, you know, different, different ways of, of playing the game. And I kind of like that. They give you more opportunities to do that. Uh, what else is in the local play? Pass and play. Okay. Very cool. One laptop, multiple players, just passed around. And then, uh, yeah, and then on play, which, which is the one part that we really didn't really check out at all. Um, no active games. Look at it. There's a bunch of people here, though. Look at that. In the, in the chat room. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, me sort of relearn how to play Root, and which is basically learning it from scratch because I only played the one or two games, I can't even remember, at PAX Unplugged in 2018. Um, played with a bunch of... Uh, my friends from uh, the old Twitch HQ and uh, taught by a designer friend of mine named um, Taylor. Um, 
yeah, really enjoyed it then. Really enjoy it now. Uh, probably going to play a lot more of this game, I think. And if you guys are interested in playing this game, um, or you already have it, I know Sky Jedi said uh, was in chat, said he got it. Um, join our Discord if you haven't already. Um, and then we can sort of hook up, maybe play, play some of this game. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about Root, guys. I'm going to go back to this title screen. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's a really really cool thing, and I think as they roll out more expansions, and I think um, you know iron out bugs. I didn't really see any. Um, you know, the only bug that we got was sometimes uh, AI turns got hung up, and then all I had to do was um, you know click save and exit, leave the game, immediately go back in, and it seemed to be um, to start up again. So that's the only thing that we hit today. Uh, I'm sure that a uh, bunch of people that have been playing online maybe have hit some server issues, who knows? That's usually the thing that happens. Um, very excited. I hope you guys really enjoyed Root. Um, grab the game if you like it. Um, this is the only way that I ever, <laughs> I'm, I'm ever gonna play Root, <laughs> is digitally and online. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, so tomorrow, stay tuned for uh, some Key Forge tomorrow. I'm gonna be playing some more of my Mass Mutation decks on the Crucible. Monday night, Matt and I will return uh, and start a new campaign for Arkham Horror LCG. Um, I believe we're going to do the base campaigns and then we're going to add some side missions. Um, you know, there's been talk of the blob, there's been talk of the ho murder hotel and all that kind of stuff. Chris should be back from his work on the road. He's been gone for the last two weeks. Um, so he should be back again and then hopefully playing games next week. Although um, his boys are back in school. So, uh, and I think it's remote learning. So you'll have to stay tuned to see where we're really at with our scheduling. Uh, we may have to push days and times around, uh, but we will certainly let you know on, um, on Twitter and Discord uh, when our schedule changes. But other, um, apart from that, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, and yeah, I think I can just, hold on. Let's fade out that really great slapping music because we're going to play our theme song as we go out for the outro. Thank you again, everybody. See ya. Peace, good gaming. Bye.